Hi everybody, welcome back to Diamond Painting with Eskies. So here's what this video is. As you will have seen, I just like 10 minutes ago unboxed this that was supposed to be a rhinestone kit but isn't. But I'm still very happy with the image. It looks an awful lot like my puppy spirit, my big giant Eskimo that I have. So I'm still very pleased with it. I will be ordering this image a second time because there is another manufacturer where it has 22 colors instead of 17 and we all know the more confetti the more pretty image definition we get so next month when my son lets me order a few I will hunt that one down and try and find it in a crystal one as well obviously it looks enough like my puppies to want to have it so we're gonna kit this up real quick um, the other day my son took me to a couple of dollar stores and he bought me all the stuff to kit up Dreamcatcher Wolf but then that night when we went to the store to Fry's there's Dollar General over there instead of Dollar Tree and I wanted more of the dollar containers because I knew this kit was coming so these are all this is food quality containers they are BPA free I'm very specific about that because it damages our environment and these are from the bath and shower section, and they're three for a dollar. These are ten for a dollar, but I would have gotten two packages, but they only had one. So my son told me, go ahead and get everything I needed. I could not find a big container like, let me show you, this one that I used for Dreamcatcher Wolf, this lovely Sterilite container, which I love. But that's okay. I have baskets that I can keep this in. And this is like a two or three day project. This is not a big piece. It is smaller than 11 by 14. So yeah, we're looking at what, two, three days with me, Nick? Because mm -hmm. I work pretty quickly and I'm... Maybe four and what? Yeah, maybe four because Dusky's dog, the little miniature pincher that you all met on my live stream, she is in heat, so we're having to switch out Spooky and her for freedom so that they don't get connected because Spooky is not scheduled for his neuter until next month. So, I'm going to go ahead and... I pulled out one container out of one of the packages that comes with three in a pack because it's 17 colors. So, I had my 10 pack, and I've got six more of these. Plus the one that I pulled out of another pack, which leaves me with five more containers that are free already. So, I thought we would kit up and chat instead of diamond paint and chat for this video. You guys made my first live stream epic and fun, and I cannot thank you enough for that. I was extremely worried about how I was going to do, if I was going to be good at it, or if I, it would just be a disaster. And we raised money for the Arizona Humane Society. And for anyone who donated, I am super grateful for that. One of my puppies, my very first American Eskimo, came from Arizona Humane Society. And Snowflake came from the Maricopa County Shelter. But... It just, you guys are so wonderful. You really are amazing. And you made sure that my babies, you know, they got to be seen. They had a good time. You could tell they were having fun with it. There's a, a little scraggler or two in pretty much every one of these. As you can see, we've got one of the 819s in here. But, you know, I'm okay with that. I can pull a single diamond out and put it where it belongs. So, you guys just made that so much fun. Um, I'm going to contact Mrs. Coffee, and because she said absolutely we could, they could squeeze me into the regular lives. And I then talked about it with my son <clears throat> to see what he thought. Should I do it? Should I add that to my channel? I'd love to get you all's input as to what you think. Should I add these to the channel? I think that it would work out very nicely. And I know that he, my son, will absolutely 
help me with making sure that we have enough peace and quiet in the house for me to do them. I am very sorry about Dusty being in the background cussing on the phone. That's Dusty. He's just that way. And he is my adopted son, and I love him. Yes, exactly. Um, Nicholas understands, you know, hey, mom's on a live video. Chill out. <clears throat> Dusty doesn't have a, a chill out button. He doesn't even have a, do a down volume. <laughs> and I still adore him, but... Yeah, he he just ca cannot talk quietly for some reason. <laughs> that is his major flaw. And if that's the worst flaw he ever has, well, we're golden. We really are. So I want to pull that out of there. I actually was not even going to open this kit yet to use this drill pen because obviously I have drill pens I'm using. I am waiting for my drill pen from Rachel Ray, which I ordered during her fundraiser on the DPS lawn, because I was never going to order a fancy drill pen. It was not my intent at all. However, it benefited Claws, which is the animal rescue where she lives. And for anyone who's ever seen a single one of my videos on either of my channels, you all know that I love animals and that the majority of animals that my family has ever had are rescues. We're very supportive of rescuing. <clears throat> I did purchase Frosty and Chrissy. You will never meet Frosty or Snowy. They are in heaven taking care of my dad until I can get there. Um, but that each of them had a severe health issue. And I was scared to death that some idiot would get a hold of one of the girls. <coughs> so that is why I ended up purchasing certain puppies. The two girls. To me, Chrissy had a shoulder deformity that they said she might never walk properly. Thankfully, with proper exercise and basically physical therapy, she's fine. There's nothing wrong with her. Um, Frosty was born with such a severe lung infection, or what had such a severe lung infection when she was at the pet shop, I should say, that we, nobody was sure if she was going to survive. And so, I paid $2,500 for her and took her as fast as we could go directly from the pet store to the veterinarian to get her immediate treatment, and you know what? She was fine. She just needed some love. And Chrissy cost me $2,000. I know that sounds like, 2,500 and 2,000 sound like a lot, but American Eskimos are a very rare breed, and they are that expensive because they are that rare, and they live a very long time with proper health care. Proper diet, exercise, all the things that they need. And I'm very, very experienced with American Eskimos. So, it works out. Snowy was my first. We were together for almost 15 years when he passed away. He was 16 years, 7 months, and 8 days old when he passed away. I miss he and Frosty every day of my life. I miss them. They were just, oh, there's no way other than amazing to describe them. And all of my puppies are that sweet and that wonderful. But that was my first American Eskimo and my first girl puppy in my entire family ever. Um, my dad had a male. My grandma had a male. It's just, she was the first little girl. So, you know, that's just how it works. So what I do to put labels, because I could not find a single sticky label in either dollar store or at Fry's. Uh, we bought some Post-its. 
and I just cut them up to go on there and put scotch tape over the top. And folks, it works great. It's a cheap but effective method. <laughs> cheap but effective, which is always good. So the ones that are smaller colors here, I'm putting in these round jars. The ones that have a larger amount are going in these because they are slightly bigger. Oh, itchy eye. But you guys had me singing, which I do not do anymore. And my son was just laughing at me for it. Because he's like, huh, ah, I thought we were hiding this little point in your life, Mom. And I was like, I thought so too, but apparently that didn't work. <laughs> and I got such a charge out of Mrs. Coffee's little girl Maggie going to sleep to me singing. My son also has seizures, just like Maggie. And so I have a very special soft spot for children with health issues, especially ones, you know, that I've dealt with in my own family. As with anybody, we're going to have extra special feelings for those issues. So I am seriously thinking about making a video, singing a few songs, so that whenever Mrs. Coffee wants to, she can play them for Maggie to go to sleep to. But I have to talk to Mrs. Coffee and find out what songs she would want. So that we get things that Maggie really likes. That's just me. I'm a little odd. <laughs> but I'm a special kind of odd. I'm a good kind of odd. At least I think so. I try very hard to make sure that everything I do is something that does not hurt myself or anyone else and if possible benefits my loved ones and anybody that I happen to meet. I try. Nobody's perfect, but I do make the effort. Absolutely make the effort. <clears throat> I'm doubting that this will be a very long kidding up video because it's only 17 colors and 18 packages of drills. Unlike Moon Wolf, which is 43 colors and um, Dreamcatcher Wolf is 29 colors. So, this is a very small one for me. I tend to gravitate to very large images in cross stitch and diamond painting. A girl could drive, drive themselves nuts if they tried to do what I do most of the time. But I don't work because I'm disabled. My work is taking care of my son, my puppies, and our house. That is my job. Although tonight I get the night off from cooking because I want my son to make sloppy joes. We both make them very well, but I want him to do it. Because then I get the night off and I get some of his cooking and he enjoys cooking. But when he cooks because of his seizures, I'm always nearby just in case he has a partial complex or something worse in the midst of cooking. Well, we have one that is just a random color for this kit. It doesn't match any of the colors that go in it. In fact, it looks like 823 to me. Let me see if I can show you. Yep, that looks like 823. I will check, and if it is 823, I'll put it in my 823 container. You wouldn't think these are colors I see all the time, now would you? <laughs> they are. Most wolf pieces have essentially the same colors in them. Every once in a while you get something different, but not all that often. I'm going to save that one for number 13 because it's a very small amount. So. But 
I had such a good time on everybody's live streams. I hope that you all did too. I know that there was a lot of money raised for the Rose Foundation, which made me very happy as Chrissy is a breast cancer survivor and I lost my dad to lung cancer. And what I didn't tell anybody on the live stream is that I have had several issues with cancer starting when I was eight. Um, so, yeah, it's something that we have to really watch for. So, and I'm certain that the Arizona sun doesn't help it any. But I'm still not going somewhere where you all have natural disasters and snow. And I wouldn't mind, you know, a foot or two of snow a year, but geez louise, people. I don't know how you do it. You live in places that are really freaking cold. Then again, I live somewhere that's really freaking hot. And I would advise that to anybody. <laughs> because it does. It gets really hot here in July, August, and September. It's just miserable. And August through October is very humid. The rest of the year is really quite pretty here. Which is always nice. It is always nice that way. I love the rain. And where we move to gets quite a bit of rain. Out here by South Mountain we get a lot of rain compared to the main part of the valley. But not at all compared to the East Valley like Queen Creek area and things like that. They get flooding. So that's one of the reasons I don't live in the East Valley. Another reason is I don't have people out there. So, all of my family lives here on the west side of Phoenix. So, that's where we stay. Because my only family is my kids and my grandson. Dusty's children are my adopted grandchildren. But, I only have the, the one biological grandbaby to worry about. Because we lost the first grandbaby. There is not, I have not seen any real trash in any of the drills yet. They all look very, very nice. Not overly faceted, which is kind of sad because I know the more facets, the more shine. But I'd say those are probably 16s. 12s if they do 12s, but I think that it's 16 is the average and for a kit that was $11, it was $10.99, so $11, I'm good. I got a good kit for it. The canvas is gorgeous. It's not super soft. It's obviously polyester, but you know what? It's a very clear drill field. It's not bubbled. The adhesive is nice. I think it's a glue that solidifies to an adhesive rather than a sheet of adhesive on it. So... Because you can generally tell the difference. If there's zero bubbling or rivers like this one, there's none of that. It makes me lean toward it being um, a liquid that they use that becomes the tacky that we all love. So, I'm going to finish chopping these little things up real quick. Whoops. So, my poor son had a big partial complex seizure this morning, which was not fun. I was completely worried the entire time. I started drinking before I knew that, so I'm actually able to enjoy these things. He's having a couple of beers and relax. Because his seizures are stress induced, we need to try and keep him as calm as possible. It's just how it works. Hi, Spook. Why are you sniffing me again? Spooky Doo is having a field day of sniffing my new pajamas. He's driving me nuts doing it, too. There's a couple of... This package of 644, I'm a little bothered by how many wrong but similar color drills there are. And there's one random orange drill in there, and there's no orange in my kit 
at all. None. But we'll sort it out. Right? It's helpful if I remember to open the things first. Which I didn't. <laughs> so, let me show you what I'm talking about. We have this orange drill. And we have these here. They're obviously beaver gray, not beige. So, I will be hunting for those. So that I don't forget and leave them in there. And that is not... I don't think that's a color in this kit, folks. So that is the one thing I will say, is that there are some random drills in here, and I'm sure that, you know, that they do these by count. That means that I'm going to be short a few. But I think that from what I've seen, that when they're packaged like this, it's by weight. I don't see how, because a lot of these have a lesser amount of drills. So I think it is by count. And I hope that they gave me enough extra. Because if not, I'll have to wait for them to mail out replacement drills to finish it. And that will not make for a happy redhead. I want everything there when I start it. That's just how I am. I'm, I'm sure we're all like that. But I have no patience for the waiting game. And I found out that the next kit won't be here till April 12th. I'm like, ah, uh, I have to wait 11 days. <coughs> the sad part is the one that I want the most is not going to be here until next month for sure it just makes me sad April 22nd to May 3rd I think it said so this 644 had seven drills that were not the proper color in it That seems to be the worst I've seen so far. But there's I'm not finding any trash or undersized drills. So I'm pleased with that. Very pleased with that. Very, very, very pleased with that. It is going to be in the mid-80s here today. Yuck. So not long from now, I will be closing up the back and... Turning on the air conditioner. I know a lot of you keep saying, I wish we needed our air conditioner yet. I don't. It's expensive. <laughs> but it is nice. The, the birds are singing and making a ton of noise. Yeah, there is no trash or anything in that color. It's very nice. Oh, so leave me a comment below, please, and tell me if you have run into ordering what is advertised as a rhinestone kit and is not, or when they say, like, this one was supposed to have 12 colors, and I got lucky it actually has 17. Um, I prefer more colors. Because I know it's going to be a much more defined image that way. So I will be looking for this for in two other ways. Not that I want the same image up throughout my house everywhere. But I would like to check the difference in them. I am still scared of AliExpress orders. Because of what happened with mine. The one thing that came from them was missing part of it and they won't replace it. So, it will take me finding something phenomenal on AliExpress that I can't find anywhere else for me to order from them ever again. Because that's not a good way to start out your first diamond painting. It just kind of was a downer. But... Then these three kits that I've gotten since then, I've gotten off of Amazon, and they've been complete. They've been in nice shape. The big ones had, you know, a few rivers that needed to be fixed. But it wasn't anything I wasn't able to fix easily. So, that doesn't really faze me. 
here's the one that I need this for because it's a lot of it. A lot. And I'm going to make sure it fits in this, this jar. There's a couple of oddly colored little stragglers in here. A dark one in here hiding. This is the color that I have two packs of. So I'm thinking that it should all fit in this one easily. Oh yeah, it's going to be good as far as fit. I wanted to make sure before I wrote the tag out for it and glued it onto the jar. So this is 819. Let me glue this on and then we will pull out our misfit colors. Glue this on. Tape it on. Yeah, it's one of those days. My tongue just is not keeping up with my brain. I will be filming a third video when my light pad arrives. So we can unbox that together. Is that the same color as this? No, it's not. Okay. I thought it might be. It isn't. Let's see, where'd you go? And a yellow one. I think that dark teal I have in something else. Aha, there's the orange one. So that pretty large bag of beads only had the three odd pieces. And again, I'm not seeing any trash, which is nice. And here's the second bag of that color. And I don't even see any odd colored ones in there. Now today is April 1st. And this company gives me till May 1st, so a full month, to have them do replacement beads or um, any bad, oh, I missed one down at the bottom there, anything issues with the canvas or anything like that. So I'm glad about that because I've heard that some of the companies, you only get like seven days to contact them. Well, shoot, you know, that... That could mean that by the time you get it, that time has already run out from shipping. We have this random little pink bead in there. Drill, bead, same thing. So this is apparently our main color. Is the 819. Which is an ivory color. <clears throat> I would have loved if it would have been white, white for the wolf, but... This will work just fine. It'll read quite pretty. Some American Eskimos are not white. They are that color. They are a cream color. And there are a few that are a color called buff, which is what the color of Ladybug's ears are. That pretty tan that's on her ears is actually called buff. So, one that is off-white is fine with me. This has a very small number of the color, but it's got one random drill in it. That is obviously not this color. This is a very pretty, this is the 3031. It's a very chocolate brown. And it's got a gray in there that could easily be the 168. We're going to find out because I'm curious. If it is the 168. No, it's more lavender. It might be the 159. Nope. It's not. It's close. But it's not either of those. So. Who knows. That's going to drive me buggy now. Anyway. So yeah, that's. All of the 3031 there is. I'm guessing that that's something on the nose <coughs> of the puppy. So we have the 3743. And we have one of the little 3031 beads in there. And I was so glad I found out from watching one of Donnie's videos. That 
every once in a while what happens when they package them is that one from the package before ends up in there. Ooh, and I missed one. Can't do that. Because you never know how tight the number is, especially when there's that little in a package. <sighs> this is probably not very interesting conversation for all of you today. You better hold on to all right. We are almost done actually. We have this one and then three more colors. But we're gonna find that little stray out of there. And if it is 3031, put it in its proper container as I try to throw the beads across the table. Apparently, which I don't want to do, obviously. Yep, it was a 3031. So it's in its proper little dish. <clears throat> I have found that the diamond painting community is so welcoming and friendly and I'm just very comfortable with all of you. It's, it's been wonderful to join this community. Don't get me wrong, I, I love my stitching and there are some of the people in the stitching community, they're absolutely wonderful. But like anything, you're going to have those that are not such a joy to deal with. It's just life. So this is our very pale muted teal. 3752. Snip that. There we go. I don't know if you're able to see much of anything during this video, and if you're not, I'm very sorry. But obviously, I can't film it a second time. Because I've already cut the packages. <laughs> Let's see, do we have any oddballs in there? Nope. Very nice. No trash. No odd colors. Okay. We are almost done. We have 3766, one of my favorite colors. Not my very favorite teal, but it is a softer teal and I like of the ocean at Puerto Penasco or what is commonly referred to as Rocky Point, Mexico. And I used to take my kids there quite a bit when they were younger and I was healthy. So we used to have a really good time. Stay in a very nice hotel, condo type thing. We have one little stray. It is just a little too light and that's okay. The only thing about this kit is it doesn't tell you how many drills it needs of each color. I kind of like when it does. Okay, the last color. We have 3035, which is a muted, it's, it's like a deep mauve or mauve, depending on where you're from. Um, it's a purpley color, very pretty. Okay, we'll put that back in there. I am going to, when I am done with this, set this up to load the video, and I'm going to go and finish the section on Moon Wolf that I have been working on today, which is my big 40 by 50, which is all confetti and really stunning. I just love that piece. I'm going to be so happy to put it up. Um, 
and then I will get started on this because in case it is missing any drills, I need to put it up next in my queue of what to do here. Um, because if it is missing anything, I need to be able to contact the seller pretty quickly. So we have a random gray bead, but we have one of the 3766s in there too. So obviously, from whatever the next color on the machine was going to be, we ended up with a gray. Which I'll bet you is one of my colors. Oh, we have a second one of the 3766 in there. So we're going to put it back in its little holder. And with that, folks, I will finish the last label and say goodbye. I hope that you all have a wonderful day and enjoy your diamond painting, of course. And I hope you get a lot done because that's really the goal, isn't it? To get a lot done pretty quickly. Unless you're like me and you just kind of take your time, which is what I tend to do. I think that's a 318. Okay. I'm going to put the tape on here. And while I'm doing that, my thoughts and prayers are with you all, as always. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not. My thoughts and prayers are with you as always, and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless you. Bye-bye, everybody.